Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about the powers of serines. Actually serines have two parts. This needle part and the plastic part. Barrel, it is known as the barrel part. And we are going to learn about the parts of serines. Let's start from top. You can see this needle part which is sharp and pointed with slantly cut hole which is known as the bevel and sometimes it is also known as the bevel angle it's not clear in this original one so and this part which is made up of stainless steel the body part is known as the shaft and uh, the stainless steel which is attached with the plastic portion this is known as the needle hub whereas if this whole part will attach with a syringe then it is known as the this portion is known as the needle adapter this mark and numbers which help to indicate the volume of drug is known as the volume marker you can see here this is 2.5 ml syringe so it is marked up to 2.5 ml there will be gap of 0.1 ml it indicates the volume of medicine in the syringe and uh, this black portion you can see this black portion this is known as the plunger seal which is used to aspirate the drug or fill the syringe and this hollow part this plastic hollow part is known as the barrel and this portion is known as the plunger and uh, this part which is used to hold hold is known as the barrel flange it is attached with barrel so it is known as the barrel flange this portion is also known as flange but it is attached with plunger that's why it is known as the plunger flange and another part is also there this is the cap needle cap or protecting cap also you can see it's used to protect the needle there are many type of syringe available in market so let's see the syringe which is available in 1 ml uh, 1 ml it is also known as the insulin syringe it is very fine and uh, it is mainly used for the subcutaneous injection of insulin and another is 2 ml 2.5 ml 3 ml and 5 ml syringe these syringes are mainly used for the IM and IV drug injection. It depends on the volume of drug, how much we are going to inject. And another one is 10 ml syringe. 10 ml syringe is uh, mainly used for the large volume drugs. And it is mainly attached with cannula. And the uh, drug is given IV, slowly infused. And even 10 ml syringe is used to flatten the catheter. So this must for to different. My next video will be on the how to inject IM injection and IV injection, subcutaneous injection. So stay tuned. If you are new in my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and thank you.